Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today is no longer an Advent calendar. Today is the first video after Advent, so forgive me if I am a little bit rusty, a little bit dusty, or a little bit busty. It's the end of 2021, and that means Portski's got to make a little bit of a list ski. I gotta make a list, and I need to put that list in an order. And Porter's order depends on the order of which pours. Porter believes his order appropriately should be ordered in. That means there's a few bourbons here that I still need to taste and score before I can make that list an accurate list, for sure. Today's bottle is the newest discovery release from Bardstown Bourbon Company. Today's review is of Bardstown Bourbon Company, Discovery Series number six. America. Bardstown Bourbon Company, Discovery Series number six. This is their sixth version of Discovery Series. They release two per year, one in the spring and one in the fall. Discovery Series number five got what some people who understand reviews would consider to be not the greatest reviews. But so far, number six seems to be on an upward trend. A little bit of a happy place for some whiskey drinkers. Pappy face. Discovery six is 55.55% alcohol by volume, 111.1 proof. This iteration, which is a word I just learned and I think I used properly, of Discovery Series, is a blend of 68% Kentucky 11-year bourbon, 16% 17-year Tennessee bourbon, and 16% 7-year Indiana bourbon. I've poured some of this for myself, and I've poured some of this for others, and I've even had this in a blind flight where it did really, really well. But I've yet to actually sit down with this blend by itself and analyzed it yet until tonight, until today. Today is the day where we go into analyze mode and we just scan it up and down, up and down until it's like, my eyes are up here and I'm like super sorry about that. Super sorry, forgive me please. Today is the day where we taste, analyze, review, and score discovery series number six. Ooh, it's cold. It's cold and that's not okay. Let's warm it up. Put the whiskey in your tiny man hands and warm it ever so gently. Sing it songs that will make it warmer. It's getting hot in here, so take off all the clothes. I am getting so hot, I wanna take my clothes off. Just songs that will warm the bourbon ever so perfectly, ever so nicely ever so delicately. I was like, good gracious, ass is bodacious, flirtatious, trying to show patience. I'm waiting for the right time to shoot my steez, waiting for the right time to flash them keys. I'm leaving, please believe in, me and the rest of my heathens. Check it got it locked at the top of the faux seasons. Penthouse rooftop birds I'm feeding. No deceiving, nothing up in my sleeving, no teasing. Get up, up on the dance floor, give that man what he asking for. Oh, I feel like busting loose, and I feel like touching you. Uh, uh, and can't nobody stop the juice, so baby tell me what's the use. I'm like, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. It's getting so hot, I want to take my clothes off. Let's see if that little sweet serenade warmed up this whiskey enough to please Matt's. Whatever. Let's just see if it's warm. Ooh, plums. Ooh, apple cider. Mm hmm. Apple cider and plums. Mm hmm. What in the world? It's like a sweet cinnamon apple pie. This bourbon smells so good. Just gonna keep warming it. The warmer I get it, the better the smell. The dark fruits and the apple and the cinnamon collide the Glide Drexler. That smells good. The nose is lively and inviting. It's 
fruity, it's nice, it's a cinnamon spice. It makes me so happy. It's strange because I feel like, and call me crazy, I feel like I can smell the Indiana bourbon on here, even though there's such a low percent. Down the hatch, for this beautiful sixth edition son of a batch, Very nice. That is good. That is a good raspberry chocolate on the palate. It's like one of those organic chocolate bars you get at your neighborhood local natural grocer that's like $17 for one, one chocolate bar, but it's got like natural real raspberries embedded into the chocolate with super not impressive hippie technology but somehow it is impressive because how do they get it to taste like that? Like an actual raspberry stuck into a chocolate bar? Interesting. It's like a dark chocolate, but not an extra dark chocolate. Like a 70% cacao. Going back to the nose and now a little bit of oak is starting to poke. Oak is starting to poke. The oak is starting to poke. I feel like you can smell the oak from that 17 year Tennessee. It's like, it's there and it's layered underneath the sweet cinnamon. And it's trying, trying to rise above it. Trying to rise above it. But all it can manage is to get just below it and tickle, tickle it, just tickle it. And that tickling, it comes up to the surface and then just lofts up, wafts up in, into your section, your nosing section. Now some of the apple cinnamon is starting to appear on the palate. It's a second place taste though. It's not right up front. It's hiding underneath a little bit, but it's so dang good. The nose is fantastic. The palate, fantastic. The viscosity, fantastic. The finish, very good. Not quite fantastic. It peters out just a little bit a little bit early. That's just me being an asshole. That's just me trying to start a fight with this bottle. I'm like, hey, you think you're perfect? And he's like, Discovery 6 is like, well, I never said that. And I'm like, you sure do look like it, walking around not full anymore. And it's like, hey, big boy, don't blame me, blame yourself. And I'm like, what? Do you want to start a fight? And it's like, I'm, I'm just here to sit here and look pretty and taste good. And I'm like, oh, you think you taste good, but your finish lacks just a tiny bit. So suck on that, Discovery 6. And then Discovery 6 whacks me over the head with its eight pound bottle. Would have been 10 pounds if they used the old cork. Last sip, got a little bit of citrus, a little bit of orange oil, a little bit of vanilla. Ooh, the orange oil actually pretty strong. Coming up on the, coming up on the back end. Mmm, that orange oil and vanilla really kicked it up a bit. And in my judgment, I give Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series number six a score of 8.5. 8 8.5 Discovery Six, a fantastic bourbon, super good. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on leftovers and making sure that they all get put away. And by put away, I mean eaten by you. And by you, I mean me. I love leftovers. Mac and cheese, baked beans, stuffing, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. I don't even, just whatever. Whatever's in there and left over, I'll eat it. I'm like a garbage disposal, except for more attractive and less noisy until I fall asleep and then more noisy because CPAPs, CPAPs, ISO CPAP. And if you ever question how long you can leave leftovers in your fridge for, just Google it and then add about one 
to three weeks to that number. Because leftovers don't go bad. By the way, don't take my advice seriously. If it smells bad, throw it away. But leftovers don't go bad. Be the hero in your house. Eat all the leftovers. Except for green beans. Don't eat any green beans. Those can't be good for you. Nothing green has ever proven to be good for you.